Ooh, it gets me angry. Hey folks, it's Jason here from Jason Parker Comics. Just a quick video giving you a big update from CGC. So before I go ahead with this update, please remember to like, comment and subscribe to my channel. Greatly appreciated. Okay, so we've had some big news from CGC following the whole debacle of C2E2. There's been some crazy times going on guys and comic collectors throughout the whole community have been up in arms and really frustrated with what's going on with CGC. But at last, CGC seems to have made a decision. And this is what they've said. We appreciate everyone being patient with our follow-up regarding the Clayton Crane acetate covers. After discussions this past week, CGC will assign a qualified signature series label to comics that contain an acetate cover by Mr. Crane, as well as his signature that has been witnessed by a CGC representative. This also applies to the Ultimate Fallout Facsimile Edition number 4 that sold in C2E2. The grade assigned will take into consideration the grade of the acetate cover as well as the interior book. The members who have already submitted copies of the Ultimate Fallout issue to CGC, we will extend an opportunity to have Mr. Crane's signature applied to their copies so they receive the qualified signature series label. If a copy does not exhibit Mr. Crane's witnessed signature, the book will receive a qualified grade. And going forward, CGC will only certify artist-created covers that are first approved by CGC and those covers must be signed by the artist through the Signature Series program to receive the qualified Signature Series label. The cover must be created by a published artist. Well, that's some statement. But what does it all mean? So basically, this is what's going to happen now, guys is that those people who already submitted their books would normally receive a green label, qualified label. And as we know, nobody likes a green label in the comic community. You know, it doesn't look great with the rest of your collection, also devalues the book. People avoid them like the plague. So what CGC had decided to do in their infinite wisdom is to create a signature series label for this book, which hides most of the green label. Check this out, guys. This is a typical example of a signature series with qualified grade. As you can see, there's not much green showing at all, so it kind of hides it. So you've got the main yellow bulk of it. It'll probably say qualified on top of the label as well, but I can't help but feel that this is CGC using distraction techniques from what is actually a shit book. Listen, guys, I'm not a social influencer, but if I was, I would socially influence you to not buy this book. It's trash. Do it. Just do it. Right? Let's not let these what not influencers profit from us, okay, guys? Ooh, it gets me angry. And of course, those people who have submitted to CGC and want to have that signature series label will probably have to pay a premium now for Clayton Crane's signature. Uh, so that is going to add an extra cost for these people. I'm here to tell you right now, we don't care. Let me tell, <laughs> right, let me Which, boo-hoo, tough luck as far as I'm concerned. What are you doing buying that book in the first place? So it's an interesting statement from CGC, and I'm pleased that they've actually made the decision of what the whole comic community had been saying in the first place, that it should never receive the blue label. But of course, you know, this is like a month down the line now. CGC are now only making this decision. And I can't help but feel they're somehow covering their tracks a little bit over this. Please let me know in the comments what you think about this statement. You know, am I overreacting here? Am I, am I being too cynical? Or do you think CGC are making the right decision? Please let me know. Look after yourself, guys. Take care. Bye now.